Hello everybody, welcome to the replay of the quarter-final match of CCL Season 45 between Toast Guy 7 and his Norse and Hesdon and his Lizardmen. Hello, Fymir. Hello, everybody. There we have Bloody Norse and Lizardmen, which is the, the race I dislike the most because it's cheating. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Whoever designed them was uh, high on cocaine that day. <laughs> but here we are at the quarterfinals. And this could be a bang. Yeah, it's the, the, the Norse are down TV, down 150. They've induced a, a babe and a bribe going full Norsing. They don't care about wizards trying to do anything like that. You know, nothing clever. They're just going for the full high roll Norsing. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, the Lizards have got an unbelievable team, kind of. They've got three strength five block players. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Mighty blow. Lots of guard too. Even a strength three uh, runner. So yeah, basic mental. Mental. Mm. It's all the steroids in the world. <laughs> yeah. They are some stat freaks. The uh, the Norse have got a claw, mighty. Juggernaut Yeti to fight back, maybe hit, take out some Saurus. A Pommer as well, tackle Pommer, jump up of course because he's a berserker. Dirty player, so there's chances for the Norse. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, I think it's gonna be all coming to the Yeti because the Pommer, who's gonna, you know, who's gonna hit? Yeah. He's a strong three, so and these people, the team here, woo. <laughs> then well, you just pick up there in the rain. Yeah, huge, huge pickup. If if he can get hits like he, yeah, obviously he's going to try and get hits on the uh, skinks, isn't he? Skinks. But yeah, for sure they want to lean on this yeti, and even the yeti's going to struggle to get two dice blocks <laughs> with this ridiculous team. Oh wow, he's gone. He's gone for it here, though. This is a big commitment from the Norse. He's coming. He's going for the guy block guard. There you go. It's the power, it's the power here. Already in a complicated situation, already to lead with my team love for the JT. <laughs> yep. Sorry, just fucking around. I do my best. And not only. God stuff. damn it! Every single time! <laughs> just isn't possible! <laughs> so. Yeah, we've got. A bit of stability here for the lizards. Wait, is he not making that three dice? Isn't that a bit strange? I think uh, the there you go. The, the there is the jetty. <laughs> like it just gets instantly two d <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. The lady, you, you you invest four players trying to get to d and he only needs one player to get to d in your best player. Oh God! Oh, he didn't even hit. What the hell? What? What is this? I don't know how you don't deal with this guy when he's right next to the. Wall. I guess you've got diving tackle on him, but still, don't you want to deal with him? Hello, Dimmy. Oh wow, he gets a bit of value from his bride, but not much. Well, he might not get any value from it at all. Yeah, yeah, it works. I yeah, I think the Norse already gave up. Power up, oh yeah. But I mean, isn't Maybe. this weird? Oh god. All right, so he double cheer fight to hit a skink. He's <laughs> now we know Tos guy. Oh, he is in rebel as well. <laughs> we know Tos guy has been reading ball. Reddit. <laughs> he based the ball. <laughs> he blitzes the skink and he bears the ball. You just don't get better. There's no bigger combination of equity than that. That is massive. <laughs> oh god, Wolfbug, if you, if you... Oh, did you? Oh dear. Oh dear. What? There was a power up already used? Yeah, yeah, he power up on the, uh, he power up on the, the Saurus, the Black Guard Saurus. Of course, because, you know, he's a worry that he doesn't have enough strength of guard. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's a bit surprising the power up. I mean, it's already turn three, isn't it? Like, it's not one of your big players. He has got a Yeti there that might bang someone out. This is uh, not looking safe at all, though, is it? Like, not very safe. This is like this isn't a cage. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a welcoming uh, entrance, but... Oh, was it? Oof, oh. Whoa, that was girls. I was unaware of your history, Wolf. Uh, I think Toast Guy's fine. Well, now he's got his own blood stepper on the ball. This is, yeah, this is the quarter-final of Chalice. Why I'm feeling that uh, these people are not uh, optimizing the place here. Why, you know, there is side step on the ball. Why there is a... Uh, oh, that guy's going to get... I know. I thought he was going to get... Surf I don't know. Yeah, what, what he, would, he would have done if he could, I think. Okay, now let's freeze that from the ball. That's all right. He's not getting forward though, is he, Headstone? He's in no rush. He's in no rush to get forward. Or apparently protect the ball properly. <laughs> he had he had three points of the cage and rather than making a fourth point, he just he just put another guy up there. I mean he's got he's got damage tackle here, hasn't he? But I think it's still being a little bit needlessly lax. Also, this guy can get free to pawn this skink, so or this skink, so it's a bit Bit rowdy. Well, there you go. Just brainless, brainless Yeti Blitz. Can't go wrong with that, can you? It's not much uh, he can do. I mean, he could have a dodge to go to hit the skink. But that's what he can get to do there. And I think there's going to be instant uh, pile on. No. No, oh, wow. because he wants the 2D with the... Uh, okay, dude, yeah. whatever, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, he need, needs them both to hit the swords. <laughs> yes, oh, they, they beat me in the final before. Flipping noise. Yes, yes. Now, <laughs> now he's got to move, hasn't he, this turn? He has to move. Why has why he stayed so deep? Like, no reason. He's not moving forward yet. You could have left behind half of the North team already, you know, like uh, no chance they them to pick up uh, the pace. Yeah, it's weird because like it takes half of the North team to fight one of his guys. <laughs> so, so, so it's quite easy to get in this situation where like, you know, two, two of yours are holding three of theirs and stuff and just move up. And uh, Maybe he was scared of like his skinks getting hit and that's why he wanted to, you know, to not let them get hit and stuff. Maybe that was the idea. You can, but I think, like, you shouldn't. Because things can happen, can't they, Wolf? Things can happen. Yeah, I mean... I'm a big fan of moving up uh, as much as possible, so you don't have to do it late. Yeah. Obviously, now he can move up, and it's fine. But I think he should have moved up a l at least a little bit more earlier. But yeah, now of course it's totally fine. Yeah, I mean there was so also there were so many nords on the floor that you can just move and they can. Uh... Oh. I thought he was going to surf somebody there, but obviously not interested. Banging out the yeti, to be fair, is more important. Like this is is major out, isn't it, the yeti? Huge. Very big one. Huge. Let's see if the baby works. Yeah, yeah, huge, huge stuff for the babe to do here. Four KOs. The listeners also have. Ooh! He's got plenty of rerolls, no problem. Yeah, maybe he has to just lie down. Dodge with a berserker and lie down. 
Nope, he's not lying down. Armor 8, the Thoros. The uh, Norse were down 150 TV, so they got a bribe and a bib. The bribe has already been used. I don't want to sound bad, but the uh, basing with your dodge piece, the diving tackle piece of strength three, maybe, maybe it's not the best choice. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be very good. <laughs> You know, I get, you know, move him uh, up, you know, get uh, some menace with uh, your tackler there, but... Yeah, it's it's weird. I feel like the... I feel like that, you know, the lizards <laughs> could have optimized Bash more if, they, like... It's weird, they, they've left the ball... It feels to me, as a... as an ignorant observer. That they've left the ball like a little bit too laterally protected, but like not for any gain, you know, like they didn't do it to like get loads of hits and like, you know, serve half the Norse team or like smash them to pieces or like it just seemed weird and sloppy. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's like the Norse were, uh, you know, dominating the, the pitch, having the control of the pitch it's the other way around. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the Lisas have nothing to fear from the most of the Norse. Oh, here we go. This could be a big hit. Oh, come on! Yeah, he's got a lot of skinks, hasn't he? But the thing is, you know you're going to take attrition, right? It might go to overtime. I don't think you need to uh, foul anybody. I wouldn't want to foul. I wouldn't want to foul the Norseman. But that doesn't mean it's the wrong decision. In the three days in, love to see it. Not everybody does that. A reference to Jimmy's uh, high elf catcher of strength five, by the way. <laughs> but those that don't, don't uh, are picking up the meta. <laughs> so the lizards managed to score. Yeah, eight turns. Standard, standard drive. Three come back. The Jedi comes back. That's that's good. Yeah. For the game, not for the lizard. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Not for the, not good for the lizards. And oh, there was there was the three Harry Hall, whoever that is. It is the Yeti. The Yeti came back because of the uh, the babe. Because of the babe. Unbelievable. Could be a massive, massive uh, deal, that, couldn't it? Oh, yeah, this is why I didn't foul, so we can put all three skinks on the LS to just get smashed to pieces. <laughs> Risky, though, because with three dice, you could, you could easily get them, like... You know, you could easily get three cast here, couldn't you? Yes. But, but then, uh, putting out so three lizards... Who well, else? Uh, you know what else you're gonna put? Yeah, exactly. If you put Saurus, the Saurus could easily get cast by the Yeti. And it's way worse if 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 one gets pummed out than if a skink does. Think he'll go for the one turn move seven rain edge three? I don't think so. I would just smash skinks. Oh, riot! Oh, oh things just got interesting. Ooh. Fucking nuts on their fucking their, uh, dice. Ah, oh, thanks, Radike. Yeah, I knew they were all inspectors, obviously. Inspector Morse is the uh, thing, rather than Norse. It's Morse, and then... There you go, the Ulf is Morse, and they're all, you yeah, know, rusty cold and stuff. Hey. 
Does this guy know that he has to turn? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, okay, okay, okay. Do you reckon, Wolf? I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't even try the one turn. But obviously got getting the Raya I would I would definitely try the two turn. They play tomorrow at sixteen thirty UTC, Skuro. Skin sushi. Seeded bun. Uh, I'll name if it's a if it's a burger. Which, knowing you, I imagine it is a burger. Lost got a great chance. They could they could no, just go now and then they're, uh, they're faded. Until I'm sure. victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Yes, kick off events. The once answer more. to life, the universe, and everything. It's a score of 42 months. Unbelievable. Thank you very much, Skuro. Ten and a half beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. Yeah, it's all, always seeded for burgers. <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Skuro, what can I say? I was. I was a bit of a dickhead, wasn't I, sometimes? I don't even like going for the score here. Like, obviously, I would, do you know what I mean? But, like, you've got a good chance to just get your guy killed and not even score as well. Did he uh, pick up the ball? I want to start with that. Yeah, yeah, he's got yes. the ball. It'll be like 4 plus pass, probably. Yeah, four. Oh, maybe he'll double GFO. Oh no, I can double GFO. Oh, he hasn't got a reroll though. Maybe he'll just do the pass so it's not done. Oh, it was one GFO. I don't know. Well, however many GFOs, he's done it! There you go! Dodge! No, he fails! He doesn't die though. Tragedy. I didn't unmod you, Tony. I uh, I just I just timed you out for like you know, <laughs> and then I guess when I timed you out, it took it. <laughs> but you know, you probably said something that wasn't politically correct. Shocking, shocking. I know. Sorry, Elb, you've got to, you've got to, uh, you got to pay. <laughs> that's, that's just an in insider, that, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Modded over a game of dick and elbow. <laughs> oh, yeah. And now the Norse are going to have some problems to find uh, two dice. Or maybe not, because he's putting some uh, kinks on the line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, sorry, Skiro, you did, you did ban people. You did time out anybody who disparaged the name of Tom Brady. <laughs> Which, well, I can get on board with that. It's maybe something that you shouldn't do. Right, so he's got one, one Saurus on the line. So he's going to be the one who gets caught. No, he's not. He's going to not claw. Is he going to blitz with this guy? <laughs> Tom Brady, oh man. Are we, are, are we really going to just keep going with Pygate, Trent? 
<laughs> oh, That's a biscuit. Scums and biscuits. That's a biscuit. Muffins, biscuits. Oh man. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, let's focus. Yep, yep, let's yep, yep. Let's abandon yep. the nightmares. Let's, let's yep. abandon the yep. nightmare fuel. Yep. Oh, there you go. If you want to know about the differences between American and English things, <laughs> there you go. You can join the Blood Bowl Among Us Discord and be amused. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Is this the beginning of the North scene? It could be, couldn't it? Three removals of the OS. <laughs> Uh oh <laughs> They're capped at 11 now, the lizards. And we'll struggle no. to defend. Don't tell me you're going to do what I'm thinking you're going to oh, do. Oh yeah, he's hitting the strength 5. He's hitting the strength 5. Zero flips given. Oh, ho, ho, huge! Huge That's a, a perfect uh, turn of hits. Yep. Four hits, four removals. Yeah. <laughs> Instant full nursing. Whoa. <laughs> Jeebus. He's just hitting back with his strength five. <laughs> uh, this, this is exactly the same as the first half. <laughs> But with many more uh, removals. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, sadly there's nobody to foul. Two, two DPs with nowhere to go. <laughs> I have to admit that the Norse have uh, more than a few chances of scoring this uh, half. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, the lizards totally dominated, and now they're just basically up shit creek, probably wanting to lie down already. Yeah, try to punch some idiots. <laughs> and other than that... <laughs> oh, he's going for the... the, the, the Spicy uh, sidestep hits, waste a reroll with. Uh, I mean, didn't waste it. I guess he got the knockdown, but uses spends a reroll with you know, overtime being his only chance, right? Yeah, but he needs to keep his perfect record of a one removal per hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. Yep, yeah, that's true. It's five removals from five hits. <laughs> I don't want to say anything, but that, that the Strength 5 uh, Saurus is very close to many dangerous species. Yep, yep. Instant Claw Blitz and Foul at the moment. So yeah, he's got to bring in something to protect him. Dodge protects the Blitzer though. Norse haven't taken any any cards. Nope. Took four KOs in the first half, didn't they? And now they've inflicted loads to the lizards. So yep, he can't hit the strength five, but he does hit the strength four. Not a removal. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! <laughs> Dyson. Absolute dice. <laughs> Here comes the foul. <laughs> oh. Two into one. Gets away with it. Doesn't go for the one. I'm surprised it's a one or into two. That seemed quite reasonable. Yeah. In fact, they could have put the... The dirty player on that lizard to get the 2D with the uh, Ulwerer, uh, no problem at all. 
Yeah. It's the Yeti. Doesn't break AV. Squeaky bum time for the lizards. The lizards are running away. <laughs> Wow, he does goes for one day from the Crocs and gets the oh, cast. Oh, finally! Finally a cast! Only badly hurt. He's got to just... He's got to get this Yeti here, hasn't he? Yep, that Yeti's going to be Blitz. Maybe not. Maybe he's tagging him out and blitzing the strength. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh Juggernaut! <gasps> Glorious Juggernaut! Drop out into... Nothing. Nothing. Unbelievable! <laughs> okay, now comes foul. the boot. Never too big to the boot. Oh, Absolutely dear. terrible. As Car Car Carthium uh, would have said, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad uh, foul. Oh dear, so goal look all gone a bit peak tongue for the uh, Norse, hasn't it now? But I guess there are only like five lizards left, so it's not that scary. Yes, Stradica. Yeah, thank God this is a replay. His dawn takes ages. Toast guy's a rebel coach, so... They are used to long term. Yeah, this would have probably been horrible in real life. One day believes there, but yeah, you need to bring back the... The big lads. <laughs> really PC. Oh, okay. Weird. Casual dodge. Yeah, Tony. At the moment, I bet I bet the lizard. That's what the lizard's hoping for as well. Because at the moment, he's just getting banged on, isn't he? You have break tackle. Why? No, no. He has rolled the five, and that one. Uh, he has. Uh, I mean, the floor doesn't have a uh, claw mighty blow, so. Mm. Oh, it's a Shawnee Joe. That's why I laughed so much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear. I had a joke like that with the uh, Artemis with the same. <laughs> maybe he run out. And maybe they run out of time because he was just like, you know, being Artemis what, casting a playoff match, uh, like replay. And I was like, maybe he run out of time. <laughs> Every time there was something terrible, I was like, maybe he run out of time. <laughs> and then he was doing a live one, and then there's like, you know, someone does something terrible and there's three minutes left. So I'm like, well, maybe he run out of time. And I thought it was quite funny. Nobody else did, of course, but you know. Big pow. People oh. don't know how to appreciate art. <laughs> With art, mean I mean real art, not artemi. <laughs> All right. Let's see what. Yeah, of course he, of course he did. Well, here we go. We're just gonna, we're gonna move up. See, turn fourteen. He's remembered. There's a ball. Difficult for some Norse players to remember, but he's managed. And somehow the like, the lizards are like in a position to make cause to like put some pressure on, aren't they? Inexplicably. Yes. I guess I'll, be, uh, I'll say that the. When it comes to offense, these two coaches uh, haven't been top of their game today. No, I've got to be honest, the, the winner of this face is Sniperino. Uh, spoilers, if you haven't watched that one yet. It's on, you know, it's already happened on Twitch and it's on my YouTube already. Um, Sniperino annihilates Ingolo's team. And, I think and now the Elitzas are getting, you know, picking oh. up on the brutality. Yeah. 
I think Sniperino will be fancying his chances against whoever wins here. And yeah, all of a sudden now, the Norse are down some players as well. Three cars. I don't think the Lithas have enough power to stop the score, but... Oh, that bone head there. Oh, painful. I wasn't also very keen on the 1D either, but I understand it, because if not, you're going to hit the claw. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they've been bad or anything. I just, it's just that it's it feels like they've just not been too careful about advancing, you know? Like, both sides waited for about turn 14 before they got forward, which... I don't know. For, for how we look at... In the board, you know, in your imagine turn three and turn of the first half and turn three of the second half. Yeah. You would have thought that the offensive team will have a much easier offensive. Yeah. The yeah. listers have a lot of control of the pitch, all the players, everything was fine. The Norse were not most of them on one side of the pitch. So that was it. And here, the Norse have already made like five casts turn three of the second half. Yeah. Yeah, and five both of them in the first two turns yes. of the half. And both of them have been felt really pressed. Mm. Oh, dear. Yeah, tomorrow 16.30 UTC dirty rats. So. Half oh, past five uh, UK time. Uh, yeah. So and now the turn? litters. The Lizards have had the chance of the one turn because mm. Blue did cheat the team, you know? <laughs> wow, Dimmy. I kind of I kinda wish I'd lost versus Elliot to be honest. I'd rather he won than I won. <laughs> Jimmy going there, you know, patching his road to the final over the corpses of his friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I should have just lost. I should have just lost in the first round versus Rick, really. Just let him win. <laughs> let him win. I should have done, yeah. I should have done more than you're right. You were right. You called it. You called it. Is he trying for a one turn here? He could have scored, like, the one turn wasn't that difficult, was it? Like, it looks like he's not even going for it. Is he? Pushes to there. Pushes to there. Yeah, maybe he can get it still. I would have liked some players around, though. Like, you can have the one here already, can't you? You can have one starting there already. Or, you know, maybe the, the Croxy <laughs> Okay, he's moving over. I guess he, he needs so few players with sidestep. Fair enough. Ah, so not, he doesn't have that many players left anyway. Yeah, true. Gets the pal. So that's his three pushes. Sidestep's so good for the one turn. Incredible. <laughs> oh, now comes the handoff. Fobley's made it! Oh my god! Stun me! Oh. No! Let's go the reroll! No! Don't stop! Oh. No. He failed the he failed the second GFI! Oh my god! Unbelievable! That is unreal, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We have a game. Who's going to win the toss? The Norse. Well, the Lizards are down the strength five. And they've got... Five big boys and four small boys. <laughs> and the Norse have got 11 players. Yeah, Norse 
from the toss. Oh man, if the Norse wins, they're gonna be able to get a lot of bribes versus Sniperino. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. I can't believe I'm gonna be cheering for the team laden with mighty blow. <laughs> because god knows I don't want Norse to get to the final. <laughs> But you know, the lizards can still win this, can't they? They can, uh, they can have something happen. I actually quite like keeping the tackle back here, right? Because the he ball is very dangerous there. You yeah. You can fight oh. these guys a bit, can't you? But at the end of the day, they're, they're going to get the pressure by backfield pressure by skinks. They could potentially. And then... Good blitz and the extra hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolute pinnacle. <laughs> oh, wow, is this bad? No, no, it's not frenzy. I just assumed it was a frenzy player. Because, you know, Norse coaches are loonies, but that was the correct. Correct blocking mode and everything, wasn't it? And now the foul. Oh boy, no, no more bribes, so this could be a send off. It's not, and it's a Kaz. <laughs> Rough. Down to just eight players. Absolutely disgusting. Mm. Is he just going to tag up and run? It's an idea, isn't it? The uh Lizard men are not mobile. Well, the source Looks not like it. I know, Wolf, I know. <laughs> I'm acutely aware. <laughs> Kink. Love to see it. But this is a pretty good push, isn't it? It's yep. tagged out all these guys in diagonal so they can't free each other rope or like do anything really useful at all. Very nice. Nice blitz to free the Trend five guard. Yeah, well, this guy stops every anyone getting through, so yeah, re really good turn by Tosca in the previous one. Previous turn may have won in the match. I guess he's got to get these two skinks in front and hope it's enough somehow. And they, this is not enough. He, they have to be here. This is not good enough, in my opinion. Uh, that definitely Whoa. wasn't the play. Could have just what? dodged both of these skinks through here and had something yes. in the way. And instead, he triple up hills and guarantees to have nothing in the way. Interesting. I've played him in Rebel before, I'm sure, Toast Guy, because I asked if he was the same Toast that was in OFL. Um, and I think he's not. But I definitely played him, I don't know if it's a playoffs or what. I guess it must have been him. There you go, here comes the Jetty. Oh, he blitzed just to move him. Clever. Man. Clever. Couldn't have done that if 
as Dawn had put the skinks in the way. Oh, oh. yeah, that's right, Mango, yeah. Ooh, only a badly hurt. This is, is it an unpaused score? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is. Instant touchdown. And <laughs> no, the Norse make it to the semi-finals. <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? That is unbelievable. Norse through to the semi-finals. Wow. I'm not sure they've made it here and t since the season that Velahopia won with Nos. <laughs> oh dear. Yep, so... The, the Lizards actually made more AV breaks, that's surprising, isn't it? But the uh, Nos certainly got got the better of it. Five Kaz and five KOs, but still four Kaz and four KOs for the Lizards. Pretty crazy match all round. And... Uh, yeah, there you go. Congratulations, Toast Guy. Commiserations, has Dawn. Thank you very much, Fime, for coming in and doing the commentary. Absolutely glorious. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.